Hey, all right, everybody, how's it going? Now, I was watching a video, it popped up on the old YouTubes, my name is Electric Viking, and I said something like uh, lifetime warranty or lifetime guarantee on batteries for EVs. And I was like, what? What? <laughs> lifetime, a lifetime warranty on batteries? And I was like, I'm gonna have to look at this, I'm gonna have to investigate. Now, he was made a reference to an article, uh, I think it was, I got it by here, on his MG Cars. So MG Cars announces an extended lifetime warranty on high voltage batteries. Um, now this is, I think this is only in Thailand at the moment, if I, I, if I got that right, because uh, the headline by her says, MG announces an extended lifetime warranty for high voltage battery and electric drive unit. And the power electronic block being the first, oh, what does it say? And the power electronic block being the first Nolly brand with the guarantee of confidence for EV owners. And I was like, that's, that, that, that is, no, that is amazing. Now, I don't know what a lifetime warranty means because a lifetime warranty doesn't mean that you buy the car when you're 17 years old and it's still warranted until you're 70. I don't think it's that. Um, so let me have a look if I can find a little bit further down uh, exactly what it says because I think I remember I remember Vauxhall having a lifetime warranty on some part of a car once I can't remember what it, what it was um, but when you looked into the details it wasn't a lifetime warranty but I'll, I'll look at this uh, let me have a little look a minute just wait there <laughs> Did you wait there? <laughs> so I've looked a bit further down and it says at the moment, and like I said, the stipulations are, is Thailand at the moment. It might be in the manufacturers soon. I don't know. This is seven days old as well. Um, so it says they're covering four models, the new MG4 LFP battery, I assume, um, the MG Maxxis 9, the new MG Maxxis 7, we don't get them at the moment, and the new MG Cyberstar. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming in my head that they're giving lifetime warranty covers for the LFP batteries. And I'll say why in a minute. Well, you might already know. Um, and it says the highlight of the warranty is its unlimited mileage coverage. And also the lifetime warranty is not limited uh, to the car's first owner. It's ap applicable to both new and current MG owners, which reflects the company's determination and commitment for long-term customer care. Now, if by chance you're an anti-EV person and you've come across my video, because anti-EV people do sometimes stumble into my video and have a little peekaboo, right? And then they go into the comment section and go, wah, 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 moan, 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 cry, cry, cry about battery electric cars. Um, this is probably gonna really irritate you. It's gonna irritate you so much. You're gonna probably, I, I don't know what you're gonna do. <laughs> but for, for if EVs, if all EVs started having lifetime warranties on the battery, that's another, another, you know, another thing you can't moan about. Well, what about the batteries? They only last three years. Then you move the goalposts. Oh, they only last five years. Then you move the goalposts. Oh, they only last 10 years. Then you move the goalposts again. Oh, they only last 12 years. Now you're gonna have to move the goalposts and go, oh, they weren't eat for life. <laughs> And that is your typical anti-EV person. Um, so your typical anti-EV person, if they're watching this, is probably going to uh, try and find a negative. They're going to try and find a negative for this article. Okay, they're going to they're going to do it. They're going to do it. I know they are. Now, um, let me just let me just have a look at something else a minute, and I'll get back to you again. I got to keep stopping. No, are you all still here? <laughs> um, now I did go and look. It took me, took me sort of, um, made me sort of go down a rabbit hole of having a look at other things. So I did go and look at how long will the battery last in an EV. Now uh, that all depends on what type of battery you've got in an EV. But it looks like a lot of EVs are going towards the sort of 
LFP type technology battery because they're much safer, uh, less chance of uh, catching fire, all that sort of stuff. All the new technology is coming out. And I did mention um, a while back in my other videos about a million mile battery or a million kilometer battery, I should have said. Um, but somewhere in this article by Hugh, it's talking about different batteries. Let me get down to LFP batteries. Um, uh, now, it, it does talk by here about fire risks and whatnot, right? But it said, it says by Hugh, I don't know when this is article is from. Let me just check where it's from. So has it got a date? It have not got a date. Why hasn't it got a date? Anyway, I'll read what it says, okay? And it says, so how long do LFP batteries last? And it says, multiple scientific studies from various teams address this quest question, okay? And it says, if you charge and drive at an average temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, the EV battery, remember LFP, I'm saying now, um, retains 93% of its capacity after 3,000 charge cycles. Now, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, at 15%, at 15%, at 15 degrees Celsius, more typical of European climates, it's around 95% it retains after 3,000 charge cycles, right? And it says, to be conservative, 90% is a safe estimate. Um, so what they're saying is, after 3,000 charge cycles, 3,000, right? And this is LFP, mind, I've got to keep saying that. Um, you still have about 90% left. Um, and what it says, does fit, say it further down by here, uh, charging more frequently, blah, 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 still retains 90%. Uh, what's the same after 5,000 cycles? Um, but it says frequent charging from 0 to 100 all the time would take it down to 80. Okay, so um, with that being said, 3,000 charge cycles. Now I'm going to do maths by here and I might get it wrong, but let's just say 3,000 charge cycles and a charge cycle uh, could be. A full cycle is from zero to empty to full again, but it's or something like that. If you charged from 50% to 100, then 50% to 100. You know what, you know what I mean? Um, that, that counts as a one cycle. If you do it in, you've got to do it, it's all going to add up to 100%, if you know what I mean. So let's say, let's let's be on a conservative side, side again and say that most uh, electric cars coming out nowadays, right? I know that they can do some to do a lot more, some do less. Let's just put, plonk it at 200 miles per charge. So let's call it 200 miles per, even call it, let's say it's 200 miles per cycle, right? We'll call it that, right? Um, so just say that we went from full to empty, right? So let's call it 200 miles and you times that times 3000 charges. Remember now, this doesn't mean, this is not saying the battery is gonna be dead after 3,000 cycles, it's still going to retain 90% after 3,000 cycles. So no, no dead battery, no battery's kaput. Uh, it's still going to be going, it'll just have less of the percentage of it you'd left. You know what I mean, you know what I'm saying, right? So, a typical car can go 200, uh, 200 miles, we'll, say, we'll call it 200 miles, like I said, some can go less, some can go more. Um, and at 3,000 cycles, that, that would be, now this is my maths, I could be wrong, I could be making a fool of myself, but 200 miles times 3,000 would be 600,000 miles. Am I right? <laughs> 600,000 miles, right? And you're still going to have 90% of your battery left. So you can see why they're starting to give lifetime warranties on these batteries, on these LFP batteries. That's why they're starting to give a lifetime warranty. Because... After six, well, even more than 600,000 miles, the rest of the car is going to be pretty naff, right? It's, it takes a long time to get to 600,000 miles unless you're in a taxi or something and you're doing it constantly. You're driving far constantly eight hours a day. Um, but for the average person driving 600,000 miles, phew, that's a lifetime. That's a lifetime of driving for some people. Um, so 600,000 miles. 3,000 charges and your battery is still working. So I can understand why um, MG is going down this route 
and that's another thing people that is one of the things people always say i'm not going to buy a second hand ev because of the battery blah 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 moan 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 okay most people are anti-ev people um so this would put that to bed it put it lay it to rest it'd be you know game over now i know somebody might come in the pop comment section as well and say i know it's me waffling again but somebody's going to come in a comment section and say i've got a diesel Peugeot 406 that's done 500,000 miles and I've never had to do anything to it at all, right? Now, first of all, if you say anything like that, if you say you've had to do nothing at all to it, you lie in. So don't put that in the comment section because we'll all know you lie in, right? We know that petrol and diesel cars have to have maintenance, clutches, etc., oil changes, timing belts, all the malarkey, okay? So if you say you've done nothing, stop it stop it <laughs> anyway that's my waffle and i'm i am amazed by this i don't get the bloody mic oh why you um i am amazed by this i'm amazed that they're offering in thailand remember that a lifetime warranty on the batteries and it looks like it's on the drive train as well not the, the drive motor i think so that's that's crazy that's crackers uh so that mean that's gonna mean that loads of people are going to start buying MG cars, electric ones, and then what's going to happen then? Other car manufacturers are going to have to up their warranties on their batteries. They are. They're going to have to follow suit. So it's a win-win. It's a win-win for the public. Anyway, if you're amazed by this uh, newsworthy story, put it in the comments section. And also, give this video a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hi. -hi.